Welcome, dear viewers, to a new episode of your program, A Taqreer. For the first time, A Taqreer is presented in English language in order to address all people who are interested in English spe specialization and to prove that CMC Tunisia opens the door for all uh, languages worldwide. Now we are at the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences in Tunis in order to cover an international conference on linguistics organized by the English department. So let's go and discover together what is this conference about. An emoticon is a blank coming from emotion and icon, which means that these are icons for conveying emotions in online uh, inter uh, interaction. And uh, they, first were, they were first coined in 1982 by Scott Fahlam, uh, 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 professor of computer uh, science. An emoticon is composed of four major parts, an underlying emotion that is the meaning of the emotion. Uh, so why uh, did you uh, choose to organize such an international conference in linguistics and not in other, any other uh, branch of uh, research that is uh, literature or civilization? This was a question that was asked by many colleagues. The main thing to me is that we organize a conference, that the department organizes a conference. And we can organize more than one conference. If some people from the literature track or from the cultural studies track propose to organize a conference, we wouldn't say no. We'll always be glad to help. In previous years, we organized conferences on literature and on cultural studies. I mean, if you look at the topics of previous conferences, they touch on several issues uh, which might be of uh, interest to colleagues in, in literature and in civilization. So. Um, this year, uh, it was the uh, initiative of one colleague, uh, Dr. Amel Qallel, who is a linguist and who proposed a topic and we said, yeah, why not? This obviously comes from my own speciality, you know, the area of specialism, so, which is linguistics uh, uh, and more uh, specifically historical linguistics and uh, language variation, which also justifies the title of the conference because it's called the International Conference on Linguistics in Tunisia. But the, the specific topic is uh, language variation, uh, causes and manifestations, you know, so here we're looking at how language, different aspects of languages vary, you know, and we're trying to uh, find the right interpretation for those, uh, you know, differences that we, we're observing, you know. So basically, the idea of this conference comes from the fact that, first of all, I, I am interested in, in linguistics as a linguist. I see myself as a linguist, not as an English teacher, you know, uh, in the first place. So, uh, uh, and this is our first experience. I know there are other conferences organized in, in Tunisia in general, but mostly related to teaching, you know, uh, so like uh, TESOL, etc. This is the first of its kind in terms of being purely linguistic. What do you think uh, are the uh, most important fields of uh, investigation that uh, students nowadays may uh, conduct on, that is, may uh, make their research on? Oh, there are all sorts of things, really. It's a multidisciplinary subject, as you say. So my own subject is sociolinguistics, so I look at language variation, how, how language varies. And, I mean, students like to look at, in, in the UK at least, look at accents and dialects. They look at language acquisition, they look at uh, syntax, um, phonology, those sorts of areas as well. But, but there's also some overlap with, with media studies, for instance, so the, the idea that um, media can somehow affect language or, or that um, media represents language. We're talking about newspapers, uh, also the internet, Facebook and so on. It's a very wide-ranging area for, for students, as, you know, especially these days. Conducted some years ago on the uh, interlinguage development of some Tunisian uh, learners, particularly their oral protection. Right, uh, as uh, you might know, here we're talking about language learner language or that special system that the learner of a foreign language uh, uses. Do you think that linguistics uh, nowadays becomes uh, more important as a field of investigation than uh, literature and civilization? Well, it's uh, especially in a young country like Tunisia, which is 
fast developing, which has great aspirations. It's important to understand the dimensions of language variation and language structure, the intermix of languages, in order to have a good basis to understand how the country is moving forward. So don't you think that language in Tunisia, especially with the spread of social media and uh, emoticons, becomes, uh, I mean, nowadays becomes uh, more revolutionized than before? Absolutely. The use of technology is an absolute bonus uh, and a, a fantastic channel of exchanging ideas and bringing about social change. Uh, syntactic operations, uh, uh, now that we don't have export anymore, are merge, move and agree. Merge consists in building the structure, so you take a constituent and another constituent, you merge them together and you continue building your structure until you finish a phase. Then the phase is ready, you send it for PFNLF for interpretation. Move and agree are two other syntactic operations that are used to check features or to value features. Again, to use the recent uh, terminology, Chomsky's terminology. Then we will do an empirical exercise where we will apply this hypothesis to examples of sentences from Arabic and English and I will conclude with the major findings. So to see the full importance of this talk, we need to consider Chomsky's uh, could you please tell us about this conference? Yes, uh, this is the first international conference in ling on linguistics in Tunisia. It took place yesterday, 16th uh, April, and today, 17th April 2015. Uh, it's about linguistics in general. It um, uh, encompasses sociolinguistics, psycholinguistics, and applied linguistics. So all students are invited to attend. As I said, it was the first time for us to have something like that. So yesterday was the first day of the conference and we had the great number of students and as well as the teachers they attend uh, they attend uh, from the morning to the evening the attendance was a bit humble we cannot say that uh, students are motivated enough in order to attend such such events because these are important for for students and and uh, and teachers uh, the same way so we, we, we are we a little bit not, not confident of the level of our, of our students. Maybe they, 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 they are afraid of meeting new faces, people who are natives, English speakers. So, could be. So, uh, what is your feedback about this conference? Well, I, I actually, as I said earlier, I mean, I, I didn't have the chance to attend most of the presentations, but I, I heard about some very positive feedback, and, and uh, everybody is congratulating uh, all the efforts made by the organizing committee to make this conference uh, succeed. Uh, and. Uh, they are also impressed by the quality of the presentations, whether from Tunisia or from uh, overseas. Uh, and uh, also the students are, uh, I guess, are enjoying the presentations they're attending and learning a lot from that. So uh, good luck for the rest of the conference. Thank you. So this was all about the International Conference on Linguistics, which took place at the Faculty of Humanities and Sci uh, Social Sciences in Tunis for two days, and which gathered national and international teachers and got uh, the appreciation of all attendants. For more information, you can consult our CMC magazine, Hanan Abbesi, from the Faculty of Humanities and Social Science in Tunis. Mm -hmm.